Hello, and thank you for choosing Komatsu products. This video will cover operator controls found in the Komatsu D155-8 dozer. So let's get started. Always perform a walk-around inspection before mounting any piece of machinery. Once the walk-around inspection is complete and the area around the machine is clear, the machine can be safely operated. Always use three points of contact when mounting any machine. Now that we are in the cab, the first thing we want to do is fasten the seatbelt. Once the seatbelt is fastened, we can become familiar with the operator controls. To the right of the touch panel is the machine key. The machine key can be turned to multiple positions. Turning the key to the on position allows the operator to confirm functionality of several important controls. With the machine key turned to the on position, the operator can test the function of the engine shutdown secondary switch. This switch is located to the right side of the machine monitor. With the key in the on position, the monitor will indicate the status of this switch. This machine uses two lock levers that control machine operation. On the right side is the work equipment lock lever. On the left side is the travel lock lever. These levers can be operated independently of each other. When these lock levers are in the up position, the machine can travel and the work equipment can move. When these lock levers are in the down position, the machine cannot travel and the work equipment cannot move. To the left of the machine monitor is a headlamp switch and the rear lamp switch. The cab roof lights can be controlled by using the switch above the operator's right shoulder. On the left side of the operator's console, there are several controls. Here we can see the throttle dial and the Palm Command Control System, or PCCS. This PCCS joystick allows the operator to select forward or reverse travel. while also controlling the machine's steering. Gear shift operation can also be controlled using the up switch or down switch. The monitor will display changes in gear speed and indicate gear selection. To the right of the operator's seat is the blade control lever. The operator can use this lever to engage blade float by holding the blade float switch and moving the lever to the lower stroke end. The operator can also pitch the blade by using the pitch switch. To the rear of the blade control lever is the ripper control lever. This lever allows the ripper to be raised, lowered, or held in position. The ripper control lever also has a toggle switch that allows the ripper cutting angle to be increased or decreased. And the ripper can be removed by using the pin puller switch. The brake pedal and accelerator pedal are suspended for easy cab cleaning. The decelerator pedal is used for increasing or decreasing engine RPM, and the brake pedal is used to slow or stop the machine. The operator can control certain functions by using the monitor switches. The operator can choose power or economy mode by pressing the operation mode switch. Power mode allows the machine to function at maximum engine output, and economy mode can be used to reduce fuel consumption. The gear shift mode selector switch will change the current gear shift mode. The machine must be in neutral to change the current gear shift mode. The customized switch allows the operator to select specific functions to use on the machine and store them into memory. The equipment automation switch allows the ripper to be automatically raised and stored when the machine travels in reverse. This feature can be customized by the operator. Please refer to the operation and maintenance manual for details. The F1 switch controls dual tilt or single tilt mode. When in dual tilt mode, the blade will tilt equal amounts left and right. The dual tilt function provides several advantages to the operator, including a greater blade function range when tilting left to right when compared to a single tilt machine. Plus, the dual tilt function provides a quicker blade response. The buzzer cancel switch can temporarily override the buzzer if the machine is experiencing a fault. The work equipment automation switch will turn the blade auto pitch and the ripper auto return on or off. The reverse travel slow mode switch will turn the reverse slow mode on or off. 
The reverse slow mode function will limit the reverse travel speed when the function is turned on. This function will help reduce undercarriage wear, reducing owning and operating costs. When reverse slow mode is selected, the speed for R1 is limited to 2.5 miles per hour. In R2, 3.75 miles per hour, and in R3, 7.5 miles per hour. When the reverse slow mode is deselected, the reverse travel speed is equivalent to the forward speed. The D155 AX-8 is equipped with a transmission that can be operated in automatic shift mode or manual shift mode. In manual shift mode, when a heavy blade load is encountered, the transmission will automatically downshift from F2 to F1 to help prevent torque converter overheat. The operator must upshift after the blade load is reduced. To provide the operator complete control of transmission upshifts and downshift in manual mode, the auto downshift function must be set to off in the monitor. The dozer will remain in F2 until the operator chooses to downshift or upshift using the switches on the travel lever. This function allows the travel speed to be precisely controlled by the operator, especially when the dozer is used to perform work in confined areas. Manual mode can also increase travel speed while climbing a steep slope in reverse. The operator can also adjust the climate control system. Fan speed is controlled by using the fan switch. Fresh air or circulation mode can be selected by using the air selector switch. Temperature control can be controlled by using the temperature control switch. Vent output selection is controlled by the vent selection switch. Automatic control is selected by using the automatic switch. The air conditioner switch can be turned on or off. This switch allows the system to provide cooled air or dry heat. The off switch turns the air conditioning system off. The machine monitor also allows the operator to monitor the rear view camera. The operator can customize the camera guidelines. By pressing the F3 switch, the operator can view the camera even while the machine is not traveling in reverse. The monitor can also be used to reverse the fan. This allows the operator to clear debris that may have built up in the cooling fins of the radiator. This concludes the operator controls video for the Komatsu D155-8 Dozer. For more information about this product, please contact your local sales representative or visit KomatsuAmerica.com. Thank you for choosing Komatsu products.